one devotee asked me the question. He said, so you've been a devotee a long time. How have you stayed? I said, I'm stubborn. So I think my stubbornness has been an asset. Stubborn in the sense that I, I just personally pe feel that for me, that my nature is, um, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to give in to Maya. I'm too stubborn to give in because it, because I feel stupid or I feel uh, like defeated. You know, it's like, you know, I don't want to be defeated. So, you know, even though I want to enjoy the material world, I'm not, I know it's Maya's trick, so I'm not going to, even if she gets me down, I'm going to stand up again. I'm like too stubborn just to say, you got me. And I think another factor, and I, and, and I think when astrology even told me this in my astrology, said, you'll never be perfectly happy in the material world. And I, and I look at my whole life, and I look at it, and I go, you know, it's like, well, you know, someone will look at my life and they go, well, you had a really easy life. You never had to work. Your parents paid for your college education, you know. You, they took nice care of you, gave you whatever you wanted. But there was always something that was just wasn't right. And I think that was Krishna's kindness upon me that 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 was there. That okay, everything's right, but it's not right. And I'd always be like, I don't feel this. It's not everything's right, but I don't feel right. So I think that's helped me a lot. Also, I I don't know if uh, my sister has suffered more than I. And she understands also this world isn't right, but it it didn't affect her the way it affected me to make a move to make the moves that I made to, to pull myself to detach myself enough I think a lot of people it affects them to try harder to figure out how to be happy and to me that was never the option it was always like why is this going on what's wrong here and how do we deal with it so I think my solution was well it's an internal thing so I think that's always kept me in Krishna consciousness that whenever I might slip or I just come back to that consciousness. Oh, Maya caught you, you fool. Don't you remember? You know you can't. You know nothing works out the way you think it's going to work out. Don't fall for that. Don't fall for her tricks. So I kind of feel victorious if I don't fall for her tricks. I look at other devotees as well, and I, I think uh, it always seems that someone who stays in Krishna consciousness, there's something that's anchoring them there. That's just... It's something that, that, whether they're conscious of it or not, it's just keeping it. It could be a taste. It could be a, a philosophical understanding. Uh, something. I think, you know, philosophy also has a... It's just when... If you can see it and live it and understand it enough and, and remember it enough, it's hard to deviate too much for too long. Because you always know you're off track.